Okay, this is slingshot versus lack of lamp. We are going to take this slingshot. It's homemade from half inch tubes and it's lots of clay that hardens in the oven. It's actually a very ergonomic slingshot now. And we're using this ammunition, 14 and 20 millimeter steel balls, very tough, against this fine leg of New Zealand lamb. Notice the bone is in. That was the first shot. It didn't go so, it probably hit the board underneath, but see how the meat jumps. The second shot hit the backstop and then drops off. So it flew right through the entire thick piece of meat and bone. This one was the 20 millimeter. It grazed the bone, tumbled the meat over, and this one again did not penetrate it in full, but see how much energy the meat absorbed. This is most spectacular. Not only did it fly through the meat, but it also killed the backstop. Very interesting shot. This one is most interesting because See, it didn't go through and we later found out the reason when we prepared the meat for cooking. See, there's another ball at the downside of the underside of the meat. And this is because it crushed the bone and uh, settled itself neatly in the middle of it. That's how the food looked after my wonderful wife prepared it. It was very tasty. I'm censored anywhere. CO2 air. Yeah, the Trumac Forum. So come to Jack Shed to discuss this with me. Bye bye.